With all the online tools available now to potential home buyers, it's easier than ever to find your dream home electronically. But Mike Burns, president of Utah Central Association of Realtors, believes it's also important to have a licensed realtor on your side in this electronic age. Great to have you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. So most couples are, the fact is, searching looking for their homes online. How has that changed your role as a realtor? You know, I think everyone's search to find a home starts online. But when you have a realtor, it actually helps to fix that process. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to look at on online and find a home, finding a home is kind of like getting someone to say yes to a date ah. and then saying marriage is easy. <laughs> That's a good analogy. So finding the home is only a small part of the process. It's a tiny part of the process. It's really, I mean, you talk about the tip of the iceberg. Is it 10%? Probably not. It's probably less than 10%. Because once you've found the home, you have to decide what home it is. I mean, if you, you look at a house and you say, well, this should work. It's got room in the back for a shed. The HOA may not allow a shed. Mm. And you might say, hey, it has room for our dog and dogs may not be allowed in the neighborhood. So as a realtor, are you essentially seeing the home through new eyes, different eyes than a potential home buyer is? Definitely. I mean, when you're looking at homes every single day and selling homes every single day, like a lot of realtors do, you have to be looking at things differently. And so you're talking about, I guess you look at problems. I shouldn't make it so negative, but the reality is that when you buy a home, you're not just buying that building or that part of a building. You're buying the community, you're buying the city, you're buying all the rules and regulations associated with that. And so you have to have somebody on your side that can go through it, figure out what actually you can and can't do with the property. Yeah, I don't see that as negative. I see that as really smart, actually. Having that second set of eyes to kind of foresee any unanticipated costs that may come in down the road or just, you know, future investment, what that's going to look like in the long term. How else do agents take the stress out of this home buying process? Well, if you've got a good realtor and they understand your life and your situation, they're going to be able to alert you to things that could be problems. And they're going to be able to make it a lot less stressful. If you just go and say, hey, I'm just going to buy a house, you don't even know what the pros or the cons are. I mean, you're just going into this with plain old hope. And hope is never a strategy. You need a realtor that's going to help you guide, guide you through the process and help you have a strategy so that you can make a good decision. I have to think too, even the most confident a home selector, if we want to call it that, someone who says, no, I can identify what's right for me, then the paperwork comes in and the financing comes in. And that's, yeah. for me, from my perspective, where the overwhelm can set in, you can help with that too. Absolutely, I mean, if you go back 30, 40 years, the purchase contract was one page. And now it's six pages and about 60 other addendum just for the contract. Beyond the contract, you have all of the CCNRs that govern property usage, you have HOAs, you have the cities, and somebody has to go through all of that and figure it out and translate that to something that'll make sense for a buyer. Good advice, something for those potential buyers to think of for sure. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching.